it's really uh, important moment in the history of humanity. Um, this moment we're experiencing this month with everything that's going on and I think this event is really a culmination of this new uh, beginning, this new beginning as the old crumble, uh, the new emerge. And this is the new, this is the new, the new possibility for the planet, the new possibility for humanity and, um, and a new possibility for our children and grandchildren. And I want to mention as well that um, Jean and Joe, you know, are pioneer and they're giants. You know, I feel humbled to be here. Uh, they have done so much to bring awareness of this uh, change in mentality and this change in a conceptual notion of our world and our reality uh, into the public and reaching out to folks um, around the world, just like you and I, you know, like people that have, you know, good logic and, you know, what I call um, um, common sense, which is not so common, you know, and, and that just is so important. And, and in one way, you know, it takes a lot of courage to do that. So thank you. Thank you so much for your work. Um, because it as well opens the way for people like these inventors and I that have, you know, worked in the dark corners in some laboratory setting or some desk somewhere writing formulas to like be able to bring it to the world and, you know, typically we're not going to get the support of the established um, um, scientific community. But if we get the support of the public at large because it makes sense, because it has common sense, then we are able to push and force the established uh, community to take a look at it, a real look. And I've had to sit and stand in front of some of the biggest physics, you know, buff in the world. And and tell them that they're fundamentally wrong about some things, you know? They've got a lot of good things going, but they're fundamentally wrong about some other things. And, um, and one of those is that you can look at the world and think that things in the world defines the space. Or you can look at the world and, and say, the space defines the things. And what I'm saying here, you know, in a funny way, but what I'm saying is really fundamental. That is that in the concept that the structure of space, from that structure emerge all things and all things return to, starts to give us a foundation for a new concept of energy, a new concept of gravity, a new concept of electromagnetism and the forces of nature that comes together that produces our material world. And from that view, the material world does not look so material anymore. Where is that energy potential come from? Well, in quantum theory, causation is not addressed. That is, they'll tell you, oh, well, it all started in the Big Bang. <laughs> the Big Bang has become the god of science. If you don't know where it comes from, it came from the Big Bang. <laughs> and then if you ask, well, where did the Big Bang come from? That's voodoo. <laughs> you know, my view is that maybe we need to understand the source of that energy structure. And it became clear to me that the, that the natural world, that it, I was very involved in climbing, I was very involved in skiing and mountaineering and so on. I observed the material world very closely and I could see that the material world was like a, was like a growth of the vacuum structure, that the, that the space-time manifold was emerging and producing very specific pattern structures in space that we call the material world, but that it emerged from space itself that space was extending itself and looking back at itself in this... Consciously, dynamically coupled. 
and consciously dynamically coupled, absolutely, as it carries information along a feedback loop of, of information structure that define a very specific field geometry. And I went about to find what is that field geometry, and that <laughs> took me 20 years. <laughs> if we could find that fundamental pattern of creation, if we could find how the vacuum extends itself and feed back on itself, then we would have the key to the fundamental structure of space. And with that key, we would have access to literally an infinite amount of energy and curvature of space-time, which equates gravitational control and so on. Beyond that is the fact that realizing that this infinite nature is actually present in you, in every one of your atoms, and that because of that infinite nature, you are connected to all things in the universe at all time, that you're dependent on the structure of the vacuum for every billionth of a second that you exist, that you are actually exchanging information with all of the universe through every one of your atoms right now in this room in order to breathe, experience, assimilate the information and feedback information, that you are an active participant in the universe creation right now is, is the ultimate understanding the ultimate message of this new energy technology. That is, the energy, the technology, and you are one. Because if we can write the equation, if we can make the mainstream scientific community understand the theoretical functions of it, then we stand a chance to be able to apply it in the most powerful way to our society and move on to a new level of existence, which I call the galactic society. A society that is no longer confined to the surface of their planet, that has infinite amount of goods, infinite amount of power. A society that lives in abundance instead of scarcity, you know, that has a concept that value is only based, the value is only based on the creativity of the one that has it in hand. And that, I believe, is the ultimate. This is what I visualize when I see our future. That's what I visualize when I look at the eyes of my three-year-old and when I think of his children. And I think we're just on the cusp. We're so close. It's going from the concepts of scarcity, the concepts of deterioration, the concepts of entropy, to the concepts of centropy, over unity, uh, abundance, and ultimately the thriving of our society and our world. And so in this, I'm glad to be with you. I'm glad to be part of this. I'm honored to be part of this.